Right, so people are very happy with us, so they support revoking our title over here, which we've been working toward for a while. We sent the request and he's refusing. So we shall go to war over this little piece there. Shall be a short-lived war, I am sure. You're not even going to bother with putting in good commanders. Really. Just make sure we got the siege guy on the front wheel there. And let's stand down these troops. Ah, we shall assault for once. There we go. Taken the first of the four four counties of our main duchy. All of which I would like to have eventually. I need building up, that is for sure, but... Uh, let's spend the money as we have it. Because we might not after succession or whatever. Things often go a little bit awry when switching around rulership. So now maybe we can revoke this title. Revoke the chiefdom of this. Yeah, people are happily joining, but we're not getting enough plot power going. Oh well. What do we need to found the Holy Roman Empire? Probably a lot. King of Italy or imp Emperor of Italy. That's unlikely. Quite unlikely. Give to the Hospitalers and the Templars. Gain some piety. You know what, what we haven't done in a while? Let's look for a smith. Oh no, we really don't need to. What? Okay, so we're no longer wrathful. Interesting. Need a new spy master. Anyone strong here? A oh, shame, he was great. She died. But he didn't like us anyway, so. What did we really lose? If we think about it. Send some more people to their death. And you, since you're so good at your job, how about you go ahead and convert some? Right. You are fighting against some sort of uprising there. French revolt. How are your wars going? Doesn't look too hot, does it? And that's how you fall. So who do I have to go to war for over this? It's these guys. Clear war. Holy War for Brittany. Upper Brittany. Well, I think we want Upper Brittany first. So let's go do that. Let's have the Saxons help us. And let's our son be the man of the hour. By spending all his troops. On our great and amazing scheme here. Right. How many troops do you have? Are you a threat? Oh, yeah. Fairly threatening. Have them attach. Can't really raise more vassal troops. But we might send our own contingent.
Yeah, let's do that just to be sure. Just to be on the safe side. And get some more ships. Should be maybe enough. Nope, still not enough. I'm bad at judging ships. There we go, that's enough. We're probably already being overrun there. Oh, not yet. Come on, attach. Attaché. Which is also not the right word. Alright, we're going to sand down our own ships, even though we lose some in the process. Because we don't want to spend the coin. Let's increase our fleet a little. Who else has ships? Oh, we have killed some court physician somewhere. Shame. And our siege leader is leading the siege to siege. But everyone is so old already. Where are the Saxons? In Saxony still. Oh, we are vomiting. Let's see what our... Wow, he's good. He did well there, our court physician. Take care of us. We have malaise, we feel just a little bit under the weather. Right, okay. Check what we're building or not building. Castle Town definitely needs to go up so we earn more money. Oh, we have the flu. This is the worst affliction we have had. So far. So let's have him use a tested treatment and not be weird. And he did great. Honestly, having an endless supply of great physicians feels like a pretty decent deal. Alright, converted some people. But only individuals, not the whole thing. I could read those messages and then know what they mean or say. But as I tend to do, I don't. So I never know what they say. There's our Saxon brothers. Arriving to help in our conquest. And we'll just keep on sieging. Let's have the Saxons do something else. Maybe let them hunt the enemy. They can probably find them down there. Well, they do have to come up if they want to stop me from doing what I'm doing. Oh, we're bedridden even. Just from the flu? Well, we're old now, so it does make sense. We're incapacitated from it. Oh, wow. Okay. Things aren't looking too bright. Let's spend some money. Yeah, sure. On this. Oh, we have lost the flu. And the regency is over, so we're no longer bedridden. Amazing. This man. Look at him. 67 years old. It's pretty impressive, quite honestly.
I'm just running the Saxons in circles. I feel bad for it. Where are his troops? Oh, he doesn't have many left. That doesn't even matter where his troops are. I don't like this, though. Why are you attacking me, you weird rebel? There we go, the flankers are doing something good. How are they winning? Are oh, they no longer winning? Lucky. That's some honestly strong rebels there. The Pope approves of our actions. And my son-in-law has born us a granddaughter. Can we marry her to something cool? Irish they keep the bloodline alive because the uh, cause the uh, Anglo-Saxon Frankish Finnish they maybe get some genius in this bloodline yes no one strong nope someone quick yeah let's just have him in this. Why not? Never can have enough bloodline. <laughs> we were battered in the attack here. Quite a strong force, actually. I'm impressed. It's still not the enemy that's coming north. Gasconians. I don't know who the hell the Gasconians are. I don't believe they're enemies. Well, I mean, they're not friendly to us, that's sure, but how would you look at that? Someone would like to surrender under these terms. There you go. Have you surrender. Now we do the same thing as usual. Create some smaller vassals to take care of those smaller things. There we go. Now we check in our family. No. No. Do you still have unlanded sons? No, you do not. Do you have unlanded sons? No. Do you girls have unlanded sons? No. Are you even married? Why are you not married? Let's get you some matrilineal marriages. We need to keep the bloodline alive. Let's just get them whatever, honestly, at this point. Whoever wants to keep the bloodline alive gets a, <laughs> gets a daughter. Alright. And now, who do we give these to? Do you have some male heirs? There we go. Let's give him a title. Ren. He's an imbecile though. So you shall only get one title, honestly. And we will transfer the vassalage to him. There we go. And we have two more to give. She's the unfaithful. Can't give her a lot of title, sadly. Did he have sons? No. This branch of the bloodline was just wiped out. Um, so who's at my court? Not of my bloodline. Doesn't matter.
Just girls, lots of girls. No strapping young men. Who are you? I don't know you. You're sturdy though. Let's have Nantes and the other one as well. The county of, what is this? Retz. And let's transfer you to our grandson. There we go. All is right with the world again. Making West Francia great again. In the end, we're just taking as much as we can, really. Why are you still fighting? A war against the king, tyranny of King Male Petir the Second. Oh, it looks like they're losing. So we shall not be concerned. The great Irish conquest of Europe. Oh, Africa has become Sicily, it seems like. And Italy has broken free as well. Why is there two kingdoms here? What is this? Germany, the Sultanate of Germany. Are you joking? Okay. We have a few minor titles to bestow. And we shall not... Not do it. Have our great scholars be the court tutors. Have some. You're not even that bad as a commander. You're kind of bad. What truces do we have? Oh, we're we're a hundred percent threat. Oops. Okay then. Guess the time of British expansion is over for the moment. Oh no. Okay, so my dog killed the courtier. I've never had such a vicious and angry dog. Honestly. So my son is still my rival, but we're only at minus 26. Alright. Are you joking with this? Fight! Oh. Right, I should probably bring home my threat news. Take care of this. And stand on those ships. And these guys can stand, stand down as well now. Maybe we shall see a great grandson as well. That would be great. Ah, there he is. A great grandson. Cool. We could give him one of our smaller counties. And we shall. So we can name him a king of, let's say, Scotland. He shall have the kingdom of Breath and Bag. This is not Wales. Kingdom of Sasana. Ow. Meow. 
Given the kingdom of Alba. So we don't have to deal with these people anymore. Of course you always lose some people in such events. But that's okay. Right, okay. Get some people who like us as advisors. And a steward who like. What is this? Oh, we the French Revolt is, of course, my vassal as well, yeah. Right, how is my council looking? Is there laws we can do? I don't think so. We're not going to see another law change in our lifetime. But if we do, we might get this done. It's just another year. We might live long enough to see it. Being able to hold a grand tournament means exactly one thing. We have money to spend. And so we shall. Where are these? They're not my vassals. I don't need to deal with it. What is this? Ingolfir's host. What is this? Ah, oh, they're just raiders. Lots of people moving to Suffolk. Let's have our steward oversee. Building certain things in Suffolk. Which you should probably also upgrade at some point. Oh no. We are now infirm. So our death draws nearer. That much is certain. It's unlikely we will recover from this. But we shall still go hunt. Why not? Being infirm has never stopped anyone from doing anything. He's making good use of his new vessels, I see. So he has sorted his troubles. Which means we can attack him again. See what we can do. Some new great conquests. Navarra. Now, what is Navarra? Not everything that's that is Navarra. Brittany, Austrasia, Asturias, Aquitaine. Aquitaine would be nice. That would be nice indeed. So I believe it is back to war for us. We shall definitely do this because we have enough prestige to do it. And enough piety too. Whoever follows might not have this. But we get a huge chunk out of him. To restore Christendom. To its rightful place. Right in the heart of Europe. Happening to Saxony. Oh well. Let's declare some war. 